How should we approach the word problem? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Note or look out for keywords as you read. Joshua, William, and Ryan spent a total of $486. Joshua spent twice as much money as Ryan. William spent thrice as much money as Joshua. How much more money did William spend than Joshua? Now how do we go about finding the solution to the problem? Let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Choose a suitable method based on the relationships among known and unknown quantities. We can see that the amount of money that Joshua spent is compared to the amount of money that Ryan spent and the amount of money that William spent is compared to the amount of money that Joshua spent. The expenses of the three persons are compared here. So we can draw a model to help us see the relationship very quickly and use it to solve the problem. We call it the comparison model. Now that we have devised the plan, let's proceed to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Draw a comparison model and use it to solve the problem. Who are involved? Let's see. We have Joshua, William, and Ryan. Now whose expenditure should we represent as one unit? William spent thrice as much money as Joshua. So William spent more than Joshua. Joshua spent twice as much money as Ryan. So Joshua spent more than Ryan. Ryan spent the least among the three. So we can represent the amount Ryan spent as one unit and build the model from that one unit. Here's one unit to represent the amount Ryan spent. Let's use R to represent Ryan. As for Joshua, he spent twice as much money as Ryan. Since we represent the amount of money that Ryan spent as one unit, so for Joshua, it would be two units. Here are two units to represent the amount that Joshua spent. We will use J to represent Joshua. Now for William, he spent thrice or three times as much money as Joshua. We note that Joshua's expenditure is represented by two units. The amount that William spent is three times of a set of two units. This is the first set, this is the second, and this is the third. And you are going to use W to represent William. Do we have more information to add to the model? Let's take a look. The three of them spent a total of $486. We'll use a curly bracket here to represent a sum and then indicate the sum, which is $486. Now, what are we to find? It says, how much more money did William spend than Joshua? That would be this region. A difference of four units. In a model, we indicate the quantity we are to find with a question mark. So we're going to place the question mark here. Now let's study the model we have just drawn. Notice that all these units are equal. And how many units are there? One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All these are nine equal units. And they are equal to $486. So we write, nine units are equal to $486. What's one unit? One unit would be $486 divided by nine. This gives us $54. And what are we to find? What four equal units represent? So four units are equal to $54 times 4. And this is equal to $216. Have we solved the problem? Is the solution correct? Let's proceed to step 4, a very important step. Step 4. Check back. 
Ryan's expenditure is represented by one unit. We found that one unit represents $54. If Ryan spent $54, then the amount of money Joshua spent is equal to $54 times 2, which is equal to $108. If Joshua spent $108, then the amount of money William spent is equal to $108 times 3, which is equal to $324. $324 minus $108 is equal to $216. This matches the answer we found earlier. Now let's write the statement. William spent $216 more than Joshua. Well done! We've solved the problem.